Yeah, this is just continuation of how to use dissonances in music. Like I said earlier on, dissonances are very, very important in music. But the most important thing is to know how to use it. People use it in various ways in cinematography, in gospel music, in jazz, and in other forms of music. So this is just a continuation of how to use the dissonances. Now, the key to use some dissonance is based on intervals. So what I'm going to do now will be stacking intervals. And then maybe I'll go to by tonality a little bit. So stack and intervals, just stacks two intervals and then combine them together. You know we have intervals like the second, the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, up to the thirteenth. So now I'm going to stack intervals based on my pattern of play. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stack set thirds and seconds to create the dissonance that I want. So for example, C E sharp and B. Let's see augmented major 7 right here. Now I'm going to start them with seconds as well to create the dissonance that I want. A major second, a major second, a major second. So something like this. Very hard and important. They can pull the hair out of your teeth if you listen to the sound carefully. Things like this, you can use it by playing the whole tone scale. I use this in K instead of playing E flat major to A flat. I can use this chord, for example. If you look at it carefully, I have the E flat chord here. Even in, in adding the ninth here. Then I add my Now let's try another one. Let's use minor thirds now. It creates a diminished chord here. Now let me use seconds again. Because this is a flat diminished chord, I just in fact inverted it, and then my dissonance on the second. See? Or you can make. 